Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Champagne. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by. Please consider hitting that subscribe button and let me know this is your first video. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back and continuing on this journey with me. Today I'm going to be stuffing my envelopes and my singing funds um, and going showing some happy mail and what else? That's all I can think of right now. I know there was more, but let's start off with my cash envelopes. I hope you guys had an amazing weekend and that your week ahead of you blesses you and you have a good week. Um, so gas, I put in $48, but I just put the 50 towards uh, my back to the bank. So we have 50 left over. That will go towards savings challenges. Um, I will break that down to get smaller denominations, of course. We have 20 in food. I did buy um, some donuts from Dunkin' Donuts. Uh, beauty rolls over. Spending, I did not use any of this, so we should have the 15 in here. Yes, and then of course that's money that goes back to the bank. So in rollover, we have 50, 70, 85. So $85, um, I will make these smaller denominations, especially this 50 and probably this 20. And then this will roll over into my savings challenges in another video. So let's see how much we're going to be stuffing today. So we have 50, 100, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 200, 5, 10, 11, and 12. So $212 is gonna go into my cash envelopes and my sinking funds. Um, so we'll start off with the cash um, for my weekly spending. I am on a low um, spend year, and so I try and just stay within the money that I've given myself for the week. Uh, I do drive around a lot. I am a hospice nurse, so from week to week, I never know exactly how much money I'm going to have to put in my gas tank. So I'm going to stick with $100. Um, that seems to be doing a good job. So we have $100 going into gas. Food, I give myself $25 a week. Uh, I try to take food with me and eat breakfast before I go and then have my drinks in the car with me. And so I give myself $25 in case I want to get a different kind of coffee that's not from home or stop and have a quick lunch with a friend. Uh, beauty gets $25. I use beauty for my hair that I get done every three months and then um, anything else I need uh, as far as, you know, personal hygiene and stuff like that. So we will give beauty 25 so beauty has 50 70 90 110 130 150 170 190 210 230 250 255 and 260 so this will get wiped out when i go get my hair done but we have 260 in there spending gets 15 dollars every week uh, again i try not to spend this but this is if i stop and i see something um, that i want that doesn't fall under any of the other categories and again, that money that goes back to the bank um, to pay back my credit card. I do use uh, Costco. I, I get my gas from Costco and I have to use a credit card. Um, so I just use that. Uh, this is my dated funds. This is for anything that comes up uh, every year or every other year. So it gives me time to save up for it so I'm not stressing when it's time for me to pay it. Uh, I put a little bit every month, and then by the time it's due, I have it all. So first thing is going to be car registration. Car registration is not getting anything. My nursing renewal won't get anything. Uh, moving, we will start stuffing this, just not today. And then, of course, my P.O. box. P.O. box will be getting $6. I'm just waiting. Uh, usually, they leave a little card in my box that lets me know it's time to pay it, so I'm just waiting for them. I know it's got to be coming up. So we have 50, 70, 90, 100, 5, 10, 15, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, and 31. So $131, um, right? 100, yeah. So 131 in my P.O. box. Next is my Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime gets $6. This is not due until January, so I still have plenty of time to save for this. So towards Amazon Prime, we have 50, 65, 71, and 72. $72 
for Amazon Prime. Um, if you're interested, I did list some new items in my Etsy shop. I don't have them near so that I can show you, um, but they are there. Um, if you're interested, uh, my shop is listed down below. Uh, one of them is the alphabet challenge that I do. And um, I have had quite a few people ask me on Instagram if I'm going to sell it yet. Um, so I did list it. So that's there. Uh, before we continue on to this, I do want to show some helping math so I don't forget. Uh, the first one is from He Budgets. He's a newer channel here on um youtube definitely check them out we don't have enough men in the community uh, there are a couple but he has this game um, pick and pull so i of course already opened it you guys know me um i can't wait for anything to open it so i did open it i did take it out it did come in a bubble pack uh, for protection but i took it out of it just because i couldn't get it back in the thing um you guys already know my p.o box so that's fine and then of course the card but i don't read my cards so this is a game i'm going to be using on randomizer wednesday again it's called pick and pull so you get these cards um so these are pulls and on the back is how much you would stuff for each one so this is extras that i ordered um but they're very well made i really like them they come in this cute container and then you get uh, pick cards and so on the back you write which envelope you want the money to go to so in in my case i may not use these since i have the dashboard for the randomizer but you know i do have them so if i don't use them i might just put more denominations on them um, or i might just use them instead of the randomizer and the um, dice or die rather so I thought this was a really good idea, such a fun game. And then you get the, so you have skip cards times two and then different denominations of one, five, 10, 20, 50, and 100. I probably won't ever use the bigger numbers, but I do enjoy watching him uh, play this game. So I will have him linked down below. Again, he's a newer channel, but he's definitely doing an amazing job. So head over, show him some love. And then if you're looking for a new game, this is one right here. Uh, next is some Happy Mail that I got from Ren over at Mischief Managed Budgets. This is a new game. Yes, I already opened it. You already know. Um, I did get some stickers with it. That's cute. Jesus loves me, but coffee saves me. And some other cat stickers and a dog. So those are super cute. And this is one of her newer games. Um, so if you don't, if you're not familiar with Ren's shop i highly recommend you head over there she's got some really cute dashboards a vacation um set she's got cards with scratchers on them she's got such a big variety but her games are so clever this is al post delivery and just to give a quick quick rundown uh, once you're done you'll save 200 dollars. but it comes with these cards and so i'm not going to take them out because i don't want to ruin the the scratcher uh, but you pick a card, you scratch it off, and then you reveal an item that needs to be delivered. And then it comes with, I will just open this real quick. It comes with these boards here. And so you match however much it says on here that's going to be delivered, whether it's going to Hogwarts or Privet Drive, and you save that amount. So I thought that was so cute and just so clever. So definitely head over to Ren's channel and her shop. So we'll put that back over here. And then last, but certainly not least for Happy Mail today, um, this is from Liz over at Liz and Less. She always posts the cutest sticker challenges. Uh, it saves me time with coloring, so I really enjoy the stickers and just placing them where they go. I don't have to worry about coloring and trying to talk and color at the same time. Um, but she did put this pumpkin spice out, and they do. you do have the option of buying the sticker for your envelope. How cute is that? And they're so well made. I just love these stickers. And then here's the savings challenge. So let's take it out and look. So this is obviously fall themed. Um, well, I guess I don't need to take it out, but I'll take it out. Sorry, you guys. Just bear with me. So here's the back. So let's pumpkin spice things up. 
each one, each sticker is worth a certain denomination, so that's how much you save. And then you put it on the little board, whoops, the little board that it comes with. But what some people don't realize is that this is actually a sticker as well. So you can put this on a bigger piece of paper. Some people like to save their savings challenges. Um, I have not used it yet like that because I haven't finished any of the sticker challenges but I just thought that was really clever and a lot of people like I said they don't even realize that that comes off and that's a sticker in itself so she has so many cute ones if you watched my uh, giveaway video that's actually going to be ending uh, once this video posted it'll be it'll end the same day but I am giving away two um, sticker challenges that she specially made for my giveaway. One is the um, the Bee Town, which is so cute. And then one is the Bubbly or a Pop the Bubble, I think is what it was. Um, but she actually listed those on her shop. So if it's something that you're interested in, even if you, you know, put in to win in the um, giveaway, but you don't win it, but you still want it, it is listed in her Etsy shop. Definitely head over there and check out her um, savings challenges they're super cute so that is my happy mail again thank you for sticking with me but let's get back to finishing up this savings or I'm sorry the cash stuffing um, so this is my revolving binder this are things that I uh, these are envelopes that I go in regularly um, so the first one is family fun so family fun will get ten dollars this is for anything that's family related uh, whether it's a barbecue a party um, going to an amusement park, all of us together, the movies, anything like that, uh, this is where it comes from. So we have 20, 30, and 40. I just used some of it to help pay for my nephew's birthday party that just passed. So anything that's family related, I will come out of here. Uh, birthdays, birthdays is going to get $10 as well. I am coming up on my uh, month that has a lot of birthdays, which is September. So hopefully I can get this Kind of beefed up a little so we have 20 40 50 60 70 and 75 next is medical medical is fully funded at 500 dollars, so we won't be putting anything in there clothes i'm not putting money in clothes i have a hundred and something i think 130 dollars in clothes but there's nothing i want although i am thinking about buying some new scrub pants um because you know, I wash mine so frequently that, you know, they, they tend to fade a little bit faster than, you know, regular jeans or pants would. So I think I'm going to buy me some more. But I mean, I, like I said, I have $100. That's probably enough for two pairs, um, if you know how expensive scrubs are. But anyway, so we'll just leave that there. Car maintenance is something that I am throwing money to because I'm going to need brakes and tires, especially that I drive around so much. Um, but today, car maintenance is going to get $10. So we have 50, 100, 50, 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 65. So 265. And actually, I'm going to take this 50 and take these 10. So 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. So I'm going to put that aside. I'm going to put this 50 back in here. And I can't take anything else. So at least that breaks down that 50. So I don't have to go looking for it. And then, of course, support small. Support small is for any um, item that I want to purchase, uh, like my savings challenges that I get or my binder that I got from free, things like that. I always want to save up money and, you know, be able to have it budgeted so that I can support other small businesses. And actually, I just bought um, two scratchers from... Um, authentically Allison I believe is her channel name I'm so sorry Allison if I got that wrong but she just launched her Etsy shop and I will have that link down below too. head over check out her items so this will actually go to that because I just purchased two scratch off challenges from her shop so this will actually go towards that so now that I have it out I'm actually going to put it in my back to the bank envelope here so we'll just add that there and then that will go back all right I think that's it again if you're interested check out my Etsy shop I did list some um, new items made with wood I will be listing other items throughout the week some more scratch offs um, some color in savings challenges and yeah 
uh, look out for mine and Tracy's giveaway video. We will be having the winners um, shown on Wednesday, August 2nd. So tune in to see if you've won a prize. And thank you so, so much for your continued support. I cannot tell you how much I truly appreciate each and every one of you. But until next time, have a most blessed week, you guys. Bye.